What's up, BC? Congratulations on being the coolest province in Canada. You guys are looking for some tips today on how to find clams, oysters, and how to do it safely and responsibly, and you've come to the right place. Our journey today is going to start on a computer or a mobile device. So the first step is to get a Tidal Water Fishing License, if you haven't already done so. And I just typed in BC Saltwater Fishing License. The FO website comes up and you go here and it'll walk you through. Step two, find out what the local regulations are. I just went BC Shellfish Regulations for the DFO website. Check the area you intend to fish for regulations and restrictions. And let's say I'm in area 15. Bivalve shellfish. Species regulations. And there we have it. So we can take 60 clams, congregate for closures. These closures are in place due to sanitary reasons and because of algae blooms that are poisonous. This is not an optional step. If you eat wrong clams, then uh, you could be putting your life on the line. I typed in BC shell fishing map, go to the DFO website again, open map. Now you identify where you want to go for clams. And let's say I was in Campbell River. So zoom in. Say I want to try this area out here. This looks pretty good. Click on it. And it brings you up the data. Shows you what species are closed. It says accept little neck clams, manila clams, mussels, and oysters. So that's what you can take from there. Cross-reference that with uh, regulations you already checked out, and you should be good to go. Oh, here at the beach now. About to do some clamming. Conditions are really nice today, and I'm here with my friend Jordan, and we're gonna see what we can find. All right, here we go. All right, and I'm gonna try right next to this rock. So we've determined that we can keep. Little neck clams and manila clams. It's a damn shame because we're finding lots of cockles. So many cockles. Big meaty cockles. Beautiful set of cockles out here. Hey Jordan, that's a uh, pretty sweet Tacoma you got yourself. Oh, thanks man. I was, uh, you know, pretty torn between getting that uh, Toyota Tacoma and a, uh, a Dodge Clam 1500. Mud pies. Ooh, not a clam, but here's a little beach worm. And these guys are really good for uh, fishing bait. You gotta look out because they got uh, they got a nasty set of fangs on them. Ooh, sweet clam. Oh, dude, jackpot! It's like as big as my hand. You just had a grand clam. <laughs> Congratulations, dude. Look at the color on that too. I know. It's so dark. Okay, 
Um, three and a half centimeters. Yeah, those look uh, those look spot on. I'll have to double check them. <clears throat> what you got in here? Oh, you got some good ones. Oh. Looks like this is a spa, man. It's like these clams have little colonies. We find one, usually find quite a few. on top of each other. Hey, Park, are oysters is it oysters or are they different kinds? Uh, I think there's just uh, Pacific oysters. Oh, and I think there's uh, Olympia oysters too, but those are something you find when you're diving. Alright, what do we got? We got us a couple oysters and a whole bucket of clams. Look at that. Looking clam boy. Yeah, and we will smell you later. Thanks for watching guys. Take care. <laughs>